Hello everyone, it's me Sanjay Vasu back again for another video. This time it'll be on RGCSE Math Practice Questions for the topic of conditional probability. Let's start. Question 1. Two fair dice are rolled. The scores on the two dice are added to give the total. Given that the score on at least one of the dice is 2, calculate the probability that the total is 5. So in this case, the two fair dice means two dice with number options from 1 to 6 which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the scores on the two dice I had to give the total, that is what we know. And one of the dice has to have a value of 2. So what's the probability that the score on a dice is 2? Alright, we have a formula for the probability of A given B. So the probability of a given b which is written like this a with the vertical line and then b so that'll be equal to probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b so in this case what are the a and b events so the question asks calculate the probability that the total is five this is the a event and the given event which is b is the score on at least one of the dice is two so the probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. So what's A intersection B? That means both of these are 2. The score on at least one of the dice is 2. And the total is 5. The only two options for this is 2, 3 and 3, 2. Right? So that's 2 out of a whole of 36 total options. Why are there 36? That's because when we roll 2 for a dice. They each have numbers from 1 to 6 on them. And if you make a table like this, the total possible outcomes will be 6 in the rows times 6 in the columns. That will be 36 different outcomes which are possible. So 2 by 36 divided by the denominator, which is going to be probability of B, which is probability of getting the score on at least one of the dice, 2. So, in that table which I was talking about, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, out of these, which are the rows or columns where there's at least one of the dice having a score of 2? It's this row and this column, right? So, there'll be 2, 1 here, 2, 2, all the way up to 2, 6. And then we have this 2 and this one, or 1, 2. And we have 2, 2. We have 3, 2 goes on to 6, 2. But then the 2, 2 is repeated twice. So we don't count that twice. We only count that once, which is 11 by 36. So divide by 11 by 36, that's 2 by 11. That'll be our answer. Let's go to question 2. The mass mkg of each 100 adults is recorded. The table shows this information. Mass in mkg and frequency are given in the table. Three adults are picked at random from those with a mass of 70 kgs or less. Calculate the probability that one of them has a mass of 35 kgs or less, and the other two each have a mass greater than 35 kgs. All right, so what are the two criteria which we have? First is that three adults are picked at random from those with a mass of 70 kilograms or less. This is very important. That means we only consider all the parts which are below 70 or equal to 70 kilograms, which is what I've highlighted right there. Now, this frequency adds up to 52. Now, the second criteria which we have is the probability that one of them will have a mass of 35 kg or less, which will be, in this category, 7 out of a total 52. So this is our first person already, 7 by 52, probability of picking this person, because we're only considering this region here. Now we have selected one person already, so there's not going to be 52 anymore, there's going to be only 51 in this. So from here, this 7 would become a 6, since you've selected from here. Let me just write that here. Once we've selected that first person, this becomes a 6. Now, the last one is that the other two each have a mass greater than 35 kgs, and that comes in this group, which has a total of 15 plus 30, which is 45 people. So our second person is going to be 45 
because that's the frequency which you have divided by 51 because you've already selected one person. 45 divided by 51. Now we minus one from this 45 here to get 44. And we minus one from 51 to get 50 people remaining to select in the 70 or less group. Now the last person also has a mass greater than 35 kgs. So that'll be inside the 44 people remaining. This 15 plus 30 minus one. And that'll be out of a total of 50 people remaining to be selected, which is all this group minus one here. And yes, this becoming six already. So that's 50 people. And we multiply these three by three. Well, why are we multiplying by three? That's because we have one type of person who is less than or equal to 35 kilograms. And the other two are the second type of person who are greater than 35 kilograms. So we can arrange this in three different orders. We can arrange it in one, two, two. So we can be selecting the first type first and then the next two we select after. Or we can do it two, one, two. We select the first type in the second position and the first and third positions are the second type. Or we can do it in two, two, one, which means the first type comes selected last. That's why we have three different methods of selecting and that's why we have multiplication by three. Now we can first simplify the fractions. So seven by 52 cannot be simplified. 45 by 51. We can simplify this into 15 by 17. And 44 by 50 can become 22 by 25. That can be simplified in between these two are available. So this is 3, this is 5, dividing both by 5. This will become 11, this will become 26. Now we actually do not have any more simplifications possible, since all the numbers are co-prime. Now we can multiply these numbers directly, the numerators and denominators. Let's just write what we have, 7 by 26 times 3 by 17 times 11 by 5. And don't forget the multiplication by 3 at the end here. And we can use a calculator to multiply the numerators and denominators. Let's get our calculator out. So the numerators multiplying, we get 7 times 3 times 11 times another 3 to get 693. And the denominators multiplying, we get 26 times 17 times 5 to get 2,210. This is our final answer, since this is not able to be simplified more. And with this, I come to the end of the video. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and comment on how you think this video was. With that, it's me, Sanjay Vasu, signing out. Thank you. Bye.